homemade. Darkness, like to none, no. Harker, receive a blessing, small. So falls the Lord of Mists, as did all others before him. How many times does this make, warrior of light? Ah, how much you have grown. Far beyond the limits of mere mortals. He has what we seek. That he does. The key to Azizla, and the secrets of Alag. I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength. My thanks to you, Asian. And to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare! Deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim the reins of history.
Wait, something is amiss. Imperial troops, and they have already secured the area. Reveal yourselves at once! And there I was, expecting more beastmen. Who are you? I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Just as Wire observed. The Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune times. The Warrior of Light? He who bested Van Belsar? It would seem that the famous hero of Eosia seeks as his lar as well. Hardly unexpected. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the scions of the Seventh Dawn. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favored recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea! You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. Vincent's is of little concern next to the fate of the world. It is my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the Icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be it. No, don't! They are not his thralls! from Take cover Your radiance we must withdraw We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that you have my word. So Garlemald too has designs on Azisla. But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition?
I did not think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again. Least of all under these circumstances. My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. That explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Livia? Livia Sastunius? The Tribunus who served under Gaius van Bailsar? Aye, she was my sister. Though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Livia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then... Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagarn relics of great worth were stored in the vault, and I was sent to investigate. Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the key we but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him. But I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. He too was a prisoner of his past, judged for his heritage as a bastard son of the Archbishop. Yet unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply rose above it. In time, I came to realize that I had found a man worth following, and a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. I have long been of the opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Well, I for one am happy to welcome a fellow Galian to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Azizla should be. Hold on, everyone! Chief, is that... Alagon, I. There's no mistaking their handiwork. What was that? Some sort of barrier. She won't hold, Chief! She's breaking up! I've lost the auxiliary propeller! Sid, it's no use! We must return to Ishgard and find another way! God damn it all! Why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated?
In summary, the Isle owes its lofty position to the industry of the Alagans. And we can be all but certain that the Archbishop and his cronies are enjoying the view from its top. I see. If we are to join them, we will first need to pass through the Isle's etheric barrier, which is, alas, more powerful than most. Powerful enough to make a mess of a perfectly good airship at any rate. As far as I can gather, the barrier mechanism draws ether from the surrounding environment and polarizes its elemental aspect to produce what is, in effect, a wall of lightning. It seems plain that without the Vanu's key, any attempt to reach the Isle will end in failure. Alas, the key was careless enough to leave without us, and I don't think the Vanu keep a spare. Master Garland. Based on your experience, is there no other way that we might breach the barrier? Well, in the past, we've beaten similar barriers by nullifying them with elemental converters. But the one we're up against this time dwarfs all that we've encountered before. The Enterprise simply isn't large enough to bear the requisite amount of crystals. I am reminded of the quantity needed to nullify Leviathan's command of the sea. A veritable mountain of crystals that could only be borne by lashing two galleons together to form a twin vessel, scarcely able to propel itself, much less fly. That said, we're not without options. If it isn't feasible to nullify the barrier, we might try piercing it. How? We create a ram of condensed ether and mount it on my ship. There's just one problem. I don't have the faintest idea how to build one. It's going to take a true authority in the field, I reckon. Would that the Archons were still with us. But yesterday evening, I chanced to find Mistress Tataru in unusually high spirits. Assuming I understood her excited ramblings correctly, she has acquired a clue, pointing to the whereabouts of one such individual. An Archon? Truly? Ha! 
fortune favors the righteous, eh? Well then, let's not waste any time. While you go and look for our missing friend, I'll work on modifying the Enterprise. Her hull will need reinforcing to bear the punishment, not to mention a mount for the ram. Just you wait, my pretty. By the time I'm finished, you'll be an airship reborn.